everything about this show is just fantastic. From the set pieces, to the costumes, to the practical effects. The CGI can be a little iffy here and there, but overall it's pretty good. The acting is great. Ella Purnell, uh, Walton Goggins, especially as the ghoul. Just, it's incredibly faithful to the source material. Which, when you think about it, could have been quite hard to do because the Fallout series is an RPG game. Everything you decide as the player determines what happens in the game. So it's like, how do you turn that into a show when you have infinite possibilities? Well, Amazon figured it out. There's Easter eggs all over the place for all the games, Fallout 1 through 4, New Vegas, um, the only one I didn't really notice anything is 76, which is probably a good thing, as that wasn't very well received. But in general, it not only does this source material justice, it pays homage throughout for the entire game series. We were introduced to a lot of the staples from the games. You know, the Enclave, the Brotherhood of Steel, and the insanely, insanely accurate armor for the Brotherhood of Steel. Like, holy shit. They did not mess around. But you've got uh, the ghouls, the main one of which is played by Walton Goggins. And they change the lore a little bit in terms of the ghouls for the show, which I think it changed it for the better. I don't I don't want to get into it because it's, it's kind of a spoiler. So if you have not watched the show yet, I don't want to spoil it for you. But uh, it, I think it makes it better than what the games present to us. And I kind of hope with the next Fallout game, they maybe introduce it. And we're also introduced to the new California Republic and the fate of Shady Sands. Though that creates a little bit of a conflict in terms of continuity with uh, New Vegas. In that uh, the year the bomb dropped, we're told in New Vegas, is different from the year the bomb dropped on Shady Sands in the show. So that could create a little bit of a little bit of an issue, but I don't know. I, I suppose it could just be explained away as a mistake. And the final episode is just like bombshell after bombshell after bombshell, pun intended, because it's just, they just throw so much at you that it's just like, though at the same time, it's in line with the game. So if you're a fan of the games, I mean, you kind of see it coming, but at the same time, it's still it's still a lot, and it 100% sets up the second season, especially the last scene, the last shot of a certain location, which I think is very exciting. But in general, Fallout. I went into this not really thinking it was going to be good, because video games and Hollywood very rarely went well together. The first truly fantastic faithful video game adaptation we got was The Last of Us out of years and years and years of video game adaptations. So I was like, you know, m maybe it's possible. Hollywood's learning, but it still did not have a good track record. So I'm really, really glad that Amazon not only pulled it off, but I think it gives The Last of Us a run for its money. And this is coming from someone who absolutely loved The Last of Us, both the game and the show. So... It says something. But again, the acting is fantastic. Ella Purnell and Walton Goggins, they are just so good. Especially Goggins as the ghoul. He is, without a doubt, a highlight of the show in general. Showing us all the different factions from the Brotherhood of Steel to the Enclave to the New California Republic to ghouls in general to the Vault Dwellers, Raiders. It, it gives us so much in eight episodes and it uses it all very well. And they all have their own like storylines, but they all end up intersecting and coming in at the end. And it again, it just does it well. I give Fallout Season 1 an A+. Did you enjoy the review? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified when more reviews go live. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or show, and I will see you next time.